BC's Taman Bradley is in Watertown, Massachusetts, one of the Boston suburbs on lockdown. Good evening from Watertown, Massachusetts, just outside Boston. This has been a day of chaos and confusion. Millions were told to stay indoors as officials hunt a terrorist. Authorities say the two suspects, Jahar and Tamerlan Zernayev, are brothers of Chechen ethnicity. Older brother Tamberlin was shot and killed during a shootout with police last night, but his younger brother has been on the run. Officials say the 19-year-old is heavily armed with assault-style rifles and an assortment of other weapons, including explosives. Watertown, Massachusetts and other areas surrounding Boston are on lockdown as SWAT and police teams go door-to-door -door looking for the remaining bomb suspect. We've got several other new leads that just developed and we're working on that. The FBI has also released more pictures of the alleged terrorists along with a new wanted poster. They can wait him out in a way uh, and he's going to show himself at some point. They'll see him if he tries to move and I think that's the hope. The big break came Thursday night when a surveillance camera captured this image that matched the man identified just hours before as suspect number two. Later, police say the brothers ambushed a campus police officer at MIT, killing him. Then, after carjacking a Mercedes SUV, led police on a wild chase through the streets of Cambridge before engaging officers in a heavy gun battle. The suspect's uncle urged his surviving nephew to surrender. Jahar, if you're alive, turn yourself in and ask for forgiveness. The suspect's aunt, who lives in Toronto, Canada, called the FBI when she saw her nephew's pictures on television. She says they're innocent. I'm suspicious that this was staged. The picture was staged. All sporting events in Boston have been canceled. Officials say this lockdown could last all weekend. It's worth mentioning that one of the suspects became a U.S. citizen last year on September 11th. Live tonight outside Boston, Tamon Bradley, ABC News.